Oh, well, here we are again. It's another list. This time it's March 30th, March 31st, April 1st. This is the top selling or most valuable English language manga on eBay for those three days. And this time we're back to a little bit of normalcy. Um, the collection, the top collection went for $650. The top single went for $400 after that blistering three days last time. Um, this is kind of what it normally is. So let, let's get into it. Let's start with the collections. I have two honorable mentions. Uh, my first honorable mention is Don't Meddle With My Daughter, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. That's only three books. Went for $187.50. That's about $62.50 a book. Seven Cs, 2017. You're going to find out once we hit the singles that this was a really good deal. <laughs> and you're going to find out why. Uh, honorable mention number two, and one of my favorites, Museum of Terror, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, Dark Horse 2011, went for $200. All right, let's get to number five. It's a newcomer to the list. It's Path of the Assassin, Volumes 1 through 15, went for $375, $25 a book, Dark Horse 2006. What's interesting is that number four is the exact same thing, but it was uh, an auction and it literally had 36 bids and it's Path of the Assassin, volumes one through 15, $381, went for $6 more. Number three, it's not the complete collection, but we've seen these ones before and they are valuable. This is Hey Class President, volumes one through four, $487.50. That's almost $122 per book. 801 Media, 2009. On a per book basis, this would have actually been about number four on the list. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, very valuable series. The number two collection, uh, I've seen this one before as a collection. It didn't make it, but this time they've added a uh, different series, so it basically makes it up on volume, but it's Chibi Vampire, volumes 1 through 14, and then Chibi Vampire the Novel, volumes 1 through 8, and then it has the uh, Bites books as well, about 24 volumes in total, $500, Tokyo Pop, 2006. The number one collection, uh, we've seen this one before as well, it's uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion, Volumes 1 through 8. That's eight books, went for $650. Just over $81 per book, Bondi, 2008. This is a very valuable series. Before we get into the uh, singles, I want to discuss the concept of FOMO, or fear of missing out. Uh, I'm going to give you an example here. This is Fruits Basket, uh, Volume 23, the final volume of Fruits Basket, which is a very popular series. Uh, you can see the first one went for $31.67. The second one went for $113.77, and these are Canadian prices. What you may not notice is that they both sold on the exact same day, March 26th. So it just goes to show you that there's a huge range of prices, and what I show on this list is the highest, right? It's, it's what went the highest for those three days. And I've seen many cases where what made the list one day goes for a third of that value on another day. But I don't report those. I only report the high sales. So don't get caught up in the hype is all I'm saying. If there's something you really want, be patient and you can probably get a good deal on it at some point. Just don't jump on the first thing that comes along. Anyway, with that, let's get to the top 10 but I have six honorable mentions. And now my honorable mentions are just things that they sell well, um, but they don't make the list. So honorable mention number one, a certain scientific railgun volume three went for almost $63. That's seven C's 2012. Now honorable mention number two, we've seen this on the list before. It's Law of Uweki, volume 16, Went for $63.75. Viz Media, 2009. 
Honorable mention number three, Monster Hunter Arogi Volume 1, $70, Kadansha, 2011. Honorable mention number four, Red River Volume 20, $70 as well, Viz Media, 2008. Honorable mention number five, and this has been on the list before, is Rakia, Volume 2, by the artist Boichi, who went on to illustrate Dr. Stone, went for $70, One Piece Books, 2014. Honorable mention number six, and the final honorable mention is Devil May Cry 2, Volume 2, this is the light novel, $72.49, Tokyo Pop, 2006. So with that out of the way, let's get to the top 10. Number 10, it's our old friend Umi Neko, When They Cry, Legend of the Golden Witch, Episode 1, Volume 2, $75. Yen Press, 2013. Number 9 is also no stranger to the list, it's Trigon, Volume 2, $79.94, Dark Horse, 2004. Number eight is a newcomer, and it's actually a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It's also a hardcover. It's Steins Gate, the complete manga. Went for $80, originally published by Udon, 2021. What it's tied for at number eight, and also going for $80, is Oh My Goddess, volume 45, Dark Horse 2013. Number seven. And we've seen these before as well. It's the One Piece, Volume 21 Gold Foil Edition. Went for $92. Viz Media, 2009. Number six is also one we've seen before. It's Flower of Life, Volume 4. Went for $110. This is Digital Manga Publishing, 2009. Number five is a new one, and it's classic naughtiness. It's La Blue Girl, Volume 1, $120. Central Park Media, 2003. Number 4 is also a newcomer to the list. Uh, I guess this is a Volume 7 and it's very hard to find. It's Cross Game, Volume 7, $145. Viz Media, 2012. Do you remember my honorable mention up there in the uh, collections when I said uh, Don't Meddle With My Daughter, Volumes 1 through 3, which went for $187.50, was a pretty good deal actually. Well, here's why. Number 3, Don't Meddle With My Daughter, Volume 3, $249, 7Cs, 2018. And speaking of valuable books that we've seen before, Number 2, One Piece, Volume 23, Gold Foil Edition, $250, Viz Media, 2009. And finally, we get to number one, and this is again a, uh, a variant, an exclusive, but this time it's Naruto, Volume 72, New York Comic Con, exclusive variant cover, went for $400, Viz Media, 2015. No gold foil, no holograph, just a different cover from the regular book. So I'll put up the uh, spreadsheets again. Collections, the Path of the Assassin was impressive. Uh, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion, even though it's only eight volumes, that is becoming a very valuable series. As far as the singles, uh, Umineko, Trigun, good to see some Oh My Goddess on there. Some of these naughty books <laughs> do go for a fair chunk. And I'm not surprised about La Blue Girl. To be honest, that's a very well-known series from way back when. And volume 23 of that one piece, the gold foil, is proving to be a pretty valuable book. Anyway, there you have it. Not bad, not bad actually. It ranged from about 75 to 400. Not as good as last time, but you know, all things considered, I think this is a, a pretty strong list actually. And anyways, thanks for watching again, guys. Um, Hopefully we learned something, and I'll see you again in another three days when we have the next list, and we'll see how that goes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.